Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST 800-171 Control 3.13.13. One of my favorite controls because it's kind of like the word race car. If you just use the numbers backwards, they're the same forwards as like race car. You spell race car, race car when you go backwards and forwards and it's still 3.13.13. Anyway, control and monitor the use of mobile code. Uh, and again, another one of these controls where you look at it and you're like, what, what's mobile code? Is that like, I don't understand what mobile code is. Um, well, we didn't either. And so mobile code actually turns out to be one of our old favorites, like JavaScript. Code that doesn't require being compiled in order to run. And it's one of the most dangerous kinds because it's very easy to transport. You just put it on the computer and you run it and boom, there's, there's no compiling that needs to happen. And therefore it is particularly dangerous. So the good news is solving for it really is something you're probably already doing and it's pretty easy. Uh, here's a sample answer. Uh, we would say it's implemented via the firewall and endpoint management solution, which controls the usage of mobile code and protects against mobile code exploits and malicious code execution. So. Again, because it's so dangerous, uh, it's important for you to have the proper protection mechanisms in place and also control against things like JavaScript executing in places that it shouldn't, uh, perhaps an application directory or, or another place where you really don't want those things to be able to go off uh, and have access to other things around it. So it is important to make sure that you've got adequate control. Again, one of the famous cases is the firewall with the expired intrusion prevention uh, you know, uh, and, and, and sort of all the expired protections that doesn't have the up-to-date uh, subscription for the malicious code protection in it. Uh, that's another reason why it's so important to make sure your firewalls are up-to-date. Uh, again, protecting against uh, the use of mobile code that can turn malicious really quick is very, very important. Uh, and again, can lead to the entire exploit of your network, implementation of packet sniffers, and all kinds of really nasty stuff. And if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP-800-171, or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit nest800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find out more information about how we can help self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any of the forms on our website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Literally, we can mobilize and come to the rescue. Love the content we're putting out for you or our bad jokes. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to be prepared for that upcoming CMSC certification everybody's going to have to eventually get through. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to making mobile jokes. And I'll see you on the next one.